Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I had a, an incident with spiders in my house last week. It was the first time I logged on to Spider Talk. And I thought I'd convey to you my impressions on first contact. There's a type of spider that lives in houses and they have very long legs and small bodies. They look a little like daddy long legs. And they've taken up residence in my garage. So I have a new policy of vacuuming spiders up with my vacuum cleaner, both small spiders and large spiders. And then after all of that vacuuming is done, I take paper vacuum bag outside and seal it off with duct tape and put it in the black bin. So the theory is that I'm not killing the spiders, I'm relocating the spiders and there's some chance that they might take up residence elsewhere. Although I'd be the first to admit the possibility is slight. So I was preparing, I was getting ready for the great spider vacuuming campaign and the air conditioner was on because it was a warm day. So there was that constant motor noise in the, in the background, the air conditioner. And in addition, when I turned on the vacuum cleaner, there was the sound of the vacuum cleaner, another motor noise. And the very first thing I noticed as I got started was an upwelling of uh, satanic energy or witchcraft energy, something like that. And that seemed so strong to me that I immediately started repeating that chant, Kruk Sakra Sit Mihi Lux, Non Draco Sit Mihi Dux, Vade Retro Satana, Num quam suare mihi vana, sunt mala quae libas, ipse venena pipas, that one, you know. So I started off, I was, I was feeling kind of feisty at first, and um, like there was something antagonizing me or getting ready for a fight with me, something like that that I had to prepare for. So I started off like that, but pretty soon I moved into a more mellifluous, rhythmic, pronunciation and I kept that up for for a long time and I found out that the more spiders I vacuumed up the less threatened I felt now I have to say it's weird very weird I didn't feel as threatened by spellcraft or witchcraft or satanic energy or whatever it was that seemed to be looming all around me I went on for a long time vacuuming every little corner every little cobweb. It seems like, I know, I know it's far-fetched, but it seems like the spiders were talking to me. They were, they were saying, oh, I got away, or they were saying, oh, she got me, something like that. And at the very end, I heard one say, maybe the ancient of the tribe, he said, well, if only one survives, it will be okay. Now, I know that's true because they're so fast at creating egg sacs and hundreds and thousands of eggs. It's a, if you miss one spider, it all happens again in a couple of weeks, it seems. So, so I thought, okay, I have to find this one spider, right? So I looked around behind this bookcase or that piece of equipment. I, finally, I found the one remaining spider and I vacuumed it up. It was very quick. They, they're very quick when they're, they feel threatened, but, but my vacuum cleaner got it. So I'm spiderless right now. And I have to say my workplace is more peaceful. In the garage, it's more peaceful. It's more laid back. I'm not feeling that there's an energy that's contesting my will, that's attempting to establish dominance over me. I don't feel like the prey, you know, that the predator is after anymore. And uh, what with the talk, they seem to be speaking English, 
which is always daunting, with a talk I heard from the spiders and the feeling that I got afterwards, I, I began to gather that dark witches and dark wizards, dark women and dark men, as opposed to light workers and white witches and white wizards. I think they, these, these darker energies that are sometimes employed or worshipped uh, go very well with the energy of these house spiders. And so I'm not surprised that pictures about dark men and dark women often have spiders in them, you know. And in the same way, sometimes pictures of dwarves and brownies have pictures of spiders in them. So the, the very grounded, first dimensional, second dimensional, third dimensional, those, those denser energies are more like the energies of the spiders. And that's not unusual because I've been reading in my analysis of the inhabitants of detritus in city parks and under oak trees and so forth, that spiders, arachnids, uh, only capture live prey. They're not like harvest men and some other tiny critters that eat both dead and live animals or other tiny denizens of the leaf litter that eat only dead and decaying vegetation. Spiders are much more visible than all of the other denizens, I think. And so they're well known to be voracious predators. Very colorful, sporty, um, just out there in your face denizens sometimes. Of course, these house spiders are, are dull gray, dun colored. That's so they'll fit in better with the dust and the cobwebs in the corners of the houses and the, in the garages. So that's my story today is that I had a run-in with house spiders, large ones. Oh, uh, they come out mainly at night. If you want to go hunting for spiders with a uh, 1000 lumen pen light flashlight around midnight, I think you'll, and your vacuum cleaner, I think you'll find your house has many more in it than you previously thought, especially the garage, so, or maybe the closets. If you look up above the doorway in the closets and in the corners of the closets, you'll find them too. Well, I wish I had more cheery news, but if you want your magic to be white, not dark, if you want to be a light worker and not a dark worker, if you want to be a Christian untempted by the cardinal sins and lured instead to the cardinal virtues. Get those spiders out of your home, I say. You don't have to kill them, but they have to be relocated outside. The energy is just not right for light workers. Okay, God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days in love, light, and joy. This is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars and so are you. You know where to find me on my WordPress site. See you there. Here's a question for the budding naturalist. What is the difference between a scorpion and a pseudo-scorpion?